Hi, I'm Tyler and I'm going to be unboxing the new camera I will be using for live streaming which is the Canon Vixia HFR800. Uh, as some of you may know, I recently, actually almost a year ago, I uh, started live streaming my high school sports, mainly basketball, but uh, for those live streams I've been using my Canon T5i DSLR, which is what I'm recording this on right now. Uh, and it has pretty good video quality as you can see, but uh, as far as live streaming goes, it wasn't meant to live stream and the HDMI output on it only outputs, I think, 480p is all I get. So I'm going to be switching over to the Vixia HFR800, which does 1080p on the output, so the streaming quality should improve. So today I'm just going to be unboxing the camera, so let's get started. Alright, so let's take this thing out of the box. So as soon as you open the top, uh, you get the Canon warranty paper along with a manual which is for the HFR800 which is the camera I have, but you also, it also works for the HFR82 and the HFR80. Uh, I'm just going to set these papers aside for now. If you uh, lift up the little flap. Uh, package it pretty nicely inside. On the top you have your camera and down here, which is what I'm going to start with, you get the USB cable which is a mini USB. Uh, it looks like a battery, so I'm going to set that aside for when I get the camera out. This is the charger for the camera. It's a uh, pretty big charging end. And finally, out of that side of the box, you have the HDMI cable, which is going to be useful for me in my live streaming. Uh, so on the other side of the box, you have the camera, and I believe that's it, so I'm gonna set the box aside. So take the camera out of the bubble wrap, and it is a pretty nice and small camera. So the camera has a touchscreen on it. I believe it's a three inch touchscreen, somewhere around there. Uh, so, let me stick the battery in real quick. Alright, so the battery just slides in from the bottom. Uh, it sticks out a fair bit, but that is probably a good thing because it means a bigger battery life. So, as soon as you open the door uh, to the camera, it turns on. There's a nice little Vixia welcome screen. Oh, looks like the uh, camera battery did not come charged. Uh, Alright. Give me a second to charge up the battery and I will be right back. Alright, so I grabbed the charger but I don't have a lot of cable length so I have to hold the camera over here. Uh, the charger port is actually on the right side of it, right under the strap. And that is the only thing under the strap. So let me close it and open it. Nice little Canon Vixia animation shows up. And then let me just set this up real quick. Language is English. So now everything's set up. Let me open up the lens. So right now I don't have any memory card in it, but just looking at it, it zooms in pretty far. Uh, the image quality looks pretty good. Uh, right now I'm in a darkly lit, dimly lit room. So for being in a dimly lit room right now, uh, the image quality as far as the uh, brightness of it, how it looks, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't have an SD card in right now, so I can't really test anything with recording the video. Uh, but this camera actually has, seems to have some pretty nice features. There is a microphone input, audio output on it, uh, HDMI output, which is what I'm going to be using a lot for live streaming, uh, USB, and uh, the SD card slot actually seems like it's nice and sturdy. There's a little 
flap that slides over it. Uh, then you have a little thing to see what a button that shows you the pictures and videos you've taken. And then there is an on off button. So if you want to leave the uh, little display open and turn it off. So this camera seems to be a pretty nice camera for around $200 I think it was so far. Um, so I just took it out of the box and looked at it for about five minutes. So if you want to see a full review later on, let me know in the comments below and stay subscribed to Tyler Tech so that you get notified whenever that video comes out. Uh, I also plan on not only doing a full review of this camera, but a overview of how I live stream and different options for live streaming to the internet. Uh, I mainly live stream sports, but you can take the same setup I use and apply it almost anywhere. I did it, I started building on stuff that I already had, and I started adding some equipment such as this camera. So I can do an overview of that, and I plan on doing an overview of that at some point. Uh, but thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to Tyler Tech.